I just want to make a change so other people don't have to suffer. I have my daughter who's lost her dad and she can never replace him. I'm here today to hand deliver a personally written letter by, from myself, Vanessa, in the hope of requesting a personal meeting with Anthony Albanese in trying to make a change with the TGA regarding psychedelic assisted therapy. Born and bred in the inner west of Sydney, my husband Franco was a successful businessman who loved his family. We were married for 30 wonderful years and spent 11 of them raising our beautiful daughter Zara. On the 5th of April 2018, Franco, who had rarely ever been ill, wakes up to tell me he needs to see a doctor urgently. Upon his first session, Franco was diagnosed with a severe form of clinical depression. What follows over the coming three years is a further seven hospitalizations, totaling 19 months in hospital, where he was administered a staggering 96 ECTs, 24 transcranial magnetic stimulations, and prescribed 19 different antidepressants and antipsychotic drugs. This was Franco's reality, and this remains the reality for the thousands of Australians suffering from treatment-resistant mental illness today. I began to feel reassured when I heard of the remarkable overseas progress of psychedelic therapies within treatment-resistant populations. Even more promising was that these positive results were occurring after just two to three medicinal sessions alongside a short course of psychotherapy. All up, Franco spent over a year and a half of his life in hospital, was administered shock therapy almost a hundred times, and trialled every class of antidepressant available to him. To hear of these clinical trial medicines that help patients make meaningful progress in just two to three sessions reinvigorated me with, this, with hope. I felt this was our only solution. Whilst Australia drags its feet, these therapies are being administered right now in places like Canada, USA, Switzerland, Israel and other more progressive nations. Anthony, why should Australians have to break the law or travel overseas to access these safe and effective treatments when all else has failed? This is my lived experience. This is my reality. Sadly, my family will never get a chance to find out if psychedelic assisted therapies could have saved my dear husband's life. My daughter and I will never know. Anthony, you can help put a stop to the immense suffering in this nation. Please reschedule these substances for therapeutic use. Please don't let another child lose a parent to suicide. In light of this, I request a personal meeting with you, my local representative, to express my concerns directly so that together we can find a way forward for all those suffering.